Hi everyone, welcome to Knit and Crochet with Linda and June. June's not here with us today as she is working and uh, it's this video is a little bit of this, a little bit of that and we'll just go from there. Um, June and I on a Sunday go to Black Sheep Wool's um, Knit and Natter and um, they had up behind the, the tills, they had this uh, blanket which I just absolutely fell in love with. It's called Grace. So I bought the pattern and the pattern is kind of all um, white and uh, as you can see it's a beautiful beautiful pattern but you know me I am um, so the colors are cream duck egg blue rose soft peach and natural and uh, Wendy Supreme DK and um, I really like it there's another you could substitute duck egg blue for um, the um, vintage rose but I you know what I'm like guys I wanted something to go with the colors in my lounge now you know I was it last year I think it was last year we redecorated and I've got kind of like a biscuit color and um, sapphire so I wanted it blues so in place of the white I picked this lovely it's called cookie color and it's Wendy Supreme DK and it's a uh, hundred grams premium acrylic. Arjuna's knitted quite a few of her summer teas in this, and it is really is nice, beautiful, um, beautiful yarn. So my colours are for in place of the duck egg blue, I have picked royal, nice royal blue. All the um. Uh, somatics are all the same there's a hundred grams 295 meters 322 yards so that is in place of the duck egg and then I've got um, this blue so I've got three other shades of blue let me just get them out so for the rose I've substituted the rose for the denim and then instead of soft peach, I've got the aster colour. And then instead of natural, I've got the baby blue. So they're the colours. And so they're the colours. Let me see if I can just do this. So they're the shades of blue that I've gone with um, to get, and the biscuit. So if I do that, you should be able to see. So they're the colours that I've gone with for this blanket. And this is going to be um, uh, just one of my winter projects. It is by Anita Gibney. I will put the links in the description box below, like everything. And uh, it's really self expert It's a really good little booklet. Um, I, I think it would be beginner friendly as well. And um, because there's lots of in information in this booklet, a really, really good, inf informative um, place at the back to make your own notes. And uh, yeah, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. There's the somatics on how to lay it out. And so I'm really excited to make that. So that was just one purchase. Um, Another purchase I made was from Siobhan Crafts and um, one of the one of her friends, um, I can't remember what, what she's called on Instagram, it's what I, what I created next or something like that. Let me just get my phone, where's my phone? Let's see if I can find it. Uh, anyway, Siobhan's Crafts is near me and um so i kind of let me just see if i can find oh it is it's what i created next tanya and she she recently lost her mum 
and Siobhan has made a colourway in honour of her mum and all proceeds went to um, to the charity that uh, Tanya I will put the link below um, to Siobhan's and the, I'll put the link to this so you can see I think it was dementia if I'm not mistaken I won't swear to it but and look at all the different it, it's just it is like a cloud you know it's so and then it's a sock set so I am going to make some socks with it I'm not sure what what sock pattern I've got I've got a couple of um oh twin set and pearls I've got a couple of Rachel's sock patterns so I think one of those will look really nice in one of them the, her sock patterns and then I'm a big Harry Potter fan and I am actually a Gryffindor I did the test like you do um, oh I didn't say what this sock is this is um this is sock yarn 100 grams 400 meters 75 percent superwash merino 25 percent nylon i have had other yarn from siobhan and um it is a lovely sock yarn so i bought myself gryffindor look at that uh these are going to be socks for me guys and um, again it's a uh, 100 grams 400 meters composition of this is 85 south sw polworth which is superwash and 15 percent nylon but look at all the colors in that it surely is a gryffindor sock and then last but not least purples love purples love this crocus it's called it's early crocus and it's with lemons and these were the colors of my bouquet when i got married to rick um i had um i had yellow roses and i had um some lilac um purple freesia so yeah i saw it and i thought that just reminds me of my wedding bouquet so again so i've got three sock yarns from Siobhan's craft so I think this will be my thumbnail what do you think so I love them and Siobhan is actually not far away from me and um, yeah so um, June and I have been kind of busy just you know June's been busy at work and we've been um, days out and we've had craft in our craft shows on a Sunday the last Sunday of the month which we've got coming up next Sunday which is the 27th is it or the 28th 28th I think it is and um, I've been taking part in um, Stephen West's sock along I can show you what I've been doing I can show you what I've done so far really enjoying it and um, this is the first time I've actually taken part um, and that so um, that's the right sock and that's the left sock and uh, I've still got the heel uh, I still I'm on clue two I've still got the other part of clue two to do which I will do and I'm really really loving it I've learnt so I learned so much from Stephen's um, videos and tutorials and his patterns so yeah and I put the red stitch marker there to denote that that's my right sock and this is my left sock i should put them in the other hand shouldn't i really so yeah so i'm really really loving it really nice and um, so that i've got to finish that another thing i purchased from botanical yarn and i've always wanted a leather uh, project bag and i've been eyeing this is uh, number 13 and i got this from uh, botanical yarns and it is beautiful it's redesigned projects 13 is number 13 a lot and as you can see there's a lot in there it's um i'm actually sample knitting the clint shawl by natasha hornby And I've done just finished the centerpiece, 
which is all which was all squares and I've actually yeah this is the right way there we go and that is what I've done so far I'm loving the lovely colors lovely zingy colors really my jam a bit out of my comfort zone I must say with these bright bright colors but to say I've en enjoyed it is putting it mildly I really really enjoyed knitting it and I'm just started on the second part and um this yarn has got nips in it and uh, so you've got the fluorescent green and yellow and the pink and um, I think I'm going to have to get some of this for my stash and um, really nice to knit with and then these are the other colours that I've been working with so yeah so I've really really enjoyed so I've, I'm on to the second part now of the second bit of the construction of the shawl and um, so yeah I've been um, after my cast on itis video I've um, really been enjoying myself doing my um, doing my knitting my crocheting I must admit I'm not crocheting as much as I used to do um, I've finally finished one of my advent blankets and um, I've put my blankets to one side because we've, we're, we've started with a bit of a heat wave here in the UK so it's a bit too hot and sticky to sit with a blanket on your lap crocheting um, but um, other than that everything's going okay guys I hope everyone is well where you are um, June and I are off out tomorrow at um we're meeting our friends and having a knitting session and then on Sunday we're black back at black sheep walls for our knitting natter and uh, then we've got hmm, then we've got nothing really next week I need to go and get my nails done my nails need redoing so I need to go and get them sorted next week and um yeah so we're all good here i hope you're all well i hope this um you're enjoying your craft i know summertime is a bit um a bit slow isn't it on on youtube and um on the internet because everybody's kind of vacationing or um this it's friday when i'm recording this and uh the children in the uk have broken up for their summer vacation there's some holidays and um, so yeah uh rick and i actually went and took spice with us we went to speak hall in liverpool and that was our first outing as a couple where we went out for the day and it was good so it was nice to go back like 29 years later and see the difference and um, this time we had spice with us she was a, a, a good girl and um, she's been the vet today and had her kennel cough injection and just had a, a check over and the vet has said she's a healthy little puppy so yeah so we're, she's you know bringing us as much joy as she did when she first came here what over 15 months ago no hold on June july oh 13 months we've had her now so coming up to 14 months and it's like she's always been a part of our family and um, yeah so we're all good here i'm and still enjoying all my crafting uh, and that i know i'm not producing as many videos uh, as as i used to do but um priorities change don't they guys we all have different priorities and on Thursday June and I are going to go live and uh, I think that is going to be our last live for quite a while we're going to take time off we, we still do our video and um, August's a busy month for both of us June with her family and her grandchildren and me with Rick and the dog and you know, oh, and June and I are going away for four days to a retreat with Black Sheep Bulls. Um, we're really, really looking forward to that. So, yeah, so August is going to be a busy, busy month for both of us. So, um, 
just want to thank you all really for your support for watching liking subscribing welcome to all our new subscribers we've um we still you know our subscribers still be still keep rising so thank you all very much for that and if you've got anything that you would like for us to show um please let us know in the comments we do read your comments and enjoy reading them and um i do like to comment or reply to your comments so once again thank you all so much for i don't know what me <laughs> me, me, me uh, watch is telling me something but sorry about that <laughs> it's kind of saying bedtime i think no don't think so it's only uh five to four here on a friday afternoon so take care everybody stay safe more importantly be kind to you enjoy your vacation enjoy your time with your family as Ju both june and i are and we will see you all on thursday the 25th for our next live bye for now <laughs>